Hi guys. Today I wanted to do a refresher on the um, wine glass tutorial that I made I think last year. I don't know when it was but it was one of my first videos so I just wanted to do a quick refresher because it is still one of my most popular videos. So wine glasses are my all-time favorite craft to do because they're super easy, they're really, really affordable, and um, they make great gifts for the holidays or for birthdays or anniversaries or whatever. You can really customize them however you like. So I personally love them. Um, they're super beginner friendly. They're really awesome. So first we want to start out by making a text box. So I'm going to be using two different fonts for this. So we're just going to click right over here where it says text box and for the first font I want to use this font called it's like you could search right up here it's called Siscopic or something um, I believe I got this from font bundles and so once we have our font then we can just start writing in our text box so the first chunk of text that I want to use this font for is it's going to say this is probably and then for the second font I'm going to use Magnolia Sky which I got off of Defont. It's one of the more popular fonts and then with this font I'm going to write Scotch. So this is probably scotch um somebody i love is near and dear to my heart loves a good scotch so um if they're watching this they know exactly who they are because who the heck drinks scotch people okay so um before we get any further into this a couple of things about glasses or mugs and font choice it is super important when you are making a wine glass or a mug or something that is going to um, be handled regularly or washed regularly um, you want to make sure that the font is relatively thick um, because the thinner the font or the thinner the image the more likely it may be to peel or you know just wear and tear a little bit quicker than a thick font also, um, it's going to be much easier for you to weed and just to get onto the glass in general. Um, so that is my two cents. So now we are going to design this and get it into the um, configuration that we want. So first I'm going to select this text here and I'm going to click ungroup. Now I'm doing this because I want to move this word probably underneath this text here and by ungrouping it basically what it does is now all of these letters are not grouped together as one chunk of text now you can kind of move them however you want so that is one really great function about ungroup and the second function of ungroup that we're going to use in this tutorial is to get these letters touching each other because it's a script font so it should look like cursive where all of the letters are connected so to do that we can ungroup it and then move the letters together now I always have folks leave me comments saying don't you know that the, you could do the same exact thing with the letter spacing up here you could just minimize the letter spacing and to me that is a great option but I prefer to click ungroup and just manually move the letters myself so now it's all touching that's just my personal preference you don't have to do that but that's just what I prefer to do so now we can highlight everything and move it where we want it with our text here so think I'll just move this up a little bit and so this is all like personal preference however you want it to look just trying to give it a little more 
room to breathe in between each word so you can kind of like read it better. So I think that looks pretty good how it is. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to now group all of this back together so it's all one cohesive piece of text and all of the letters cut out in the, you know, words that they're forming. A lot of times what happens is so we get to this point and then we just come over here and click make it without grouping everything back together and I'll show you what happens. So all of our letters are completely out of order. It doesn't make any sense. So to prevent that, what we want to do is we want to highlight everything or select everything and we just want to come over here and hit weld. And so now what this is going to do is it's going to just weld it all together. It's all one piece of text so we can cut it out all together. So that is pretty much it. Now, of course, if you like to, you can add, you know, shapes or hearts or images, um, you know, whatever you want here. Um, I'm not going to, that's just, this I think is good enough for me. So now the last thing we have to do before we cut it is we want to size this. So to size it, we want to click this little unlock or this little lock here and you can see this turns green. So now we can like really manipulate this however we want. If we were to leave this locked, we're limited on how we can manipulate this. So unlocking is gonna give you the best results for sizing. So I like to come over here and put it up in this corner so I can really kind of get an idea of what, it's, what size it's gonna be. Um, and for wine glasses, I think the best advice is to err on the side of a little bit smaller than larger um, for a couple of reasons. When you're applying vinyl to a, a round, a rounded or curved surface, it gets really challenging to avoid air bubble, air bubbles and getting it everything down smooth. And I found that if your decal or your image is a little bit smaller, um, you can get it onto the glass easier and with no air bubbles or bumps or creases. So I think a little less than three by three is going to be perfect for this stemless wine glass I'm using, which is from the dollar store. They're my all time favorite glasses. They are hands down the best. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, they have tons of great, great glassware there. So now we are ready to make it. So we can come over here and click make it and you can see our mat is ready to go. This is all gonna cut out in one little piece. Um, and then if we, once we get to the application part, if we want, we can cut these into individual words and apply them one by one. That's just your personal preference as well. All right, so we'll hit continue. It's gonna find our machine here. And you can see I just clicked the vinyl setting. So we're just gonna cut on regular vinyl. So I'll switch you guys over to the camera so you can see how we're gonna cut this. All right, so it wasn't recording, but I basically just put the vinyl on the mat, loaded it, and now it is starting to cut. So while that is cutting, I'm just going to take some rubbing alcohol and I'm basically just going to take it to the outside of this glass, get any dirt off of it, any oil, dust, anything that will prevent the vinyl from sticking really. So I'll let that dry while this is finishing cutting.
Alright, so now that it's finished cutting, we'll move our machine out of the way. And so now we can take our vinyl off of our mat. And so I'm just going to trim a little bit of this off just because I like to save my scraps. All right, and so now I'm just gonna peel off a corner and we're basically gonna get rid of all this outside vinyl that we don't need. Oop, I took the S with it, almost. So now we'll just go in and get rid of the middles of our letters. All right, so now we have our vinyl ready to go. So we can just take our wine glass and I think I am going to apply this in two sections only because to me it's easier to manage the vinyl um, when it's a slightly smaller piece than when it's like a big chunk. So I'm going to put the scotch on first. Just want to make sure it's all going to fit. Okay, so I'm gonna put the bottom on first. Um, just, I don't know why necessar necessarily. I just think it's, I would rather get this where I want it so it doesn't end up like down here. Um, I don't know, it's just personal preference and I'm probably just weird, but oh, here's my scraper. So I'm using this transfer tape that was sent to me by Auntie Tay. This is the Expressions um, vinyl masking tape and it's ba it's basically masking transfer tape and it's amazing. Um, and I'll link it below with um, an affiliate code but no pressure to use. Um, you can get it also. There's other places you can get it. So now I'm just going to peel off the carrier sheet. And so I am just going to place this as center as I can. And I think what works all right, so now that I have my transfer tape, um, I'm gonna just get rid of all of this excess transfer tape. I found that it is much easier to apply to the vinyl glasses when there's just like, I don't know, less around the vinyl. And I'm also, oh my gosh, sticky mess. I'm also going to just cut some slits into this. Um, just so when I'm trying to remove the transfer tape, if some of it gets stuck or if you know I'm having a hard time um, getting it to smooth out, having these little slits just makes taking off the transfer tape a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna place this as center as I can. All right, so I like to start with the middle and I'm just gonna kind of use my fingers to work my way out. And sometimes with these really curvy letters, it can get challenging. All right, so that's all down and good to go. So I'm just gonna really smooth it down my scraper 
And now I'm just gonna take off my transfer tape. And I like to kind of like press and peel it at the same time. All right, so we have our first little piece of text down. So now we can put the rest on. It is like a million degrees right now in Southern California and it is October and I am freaking over it. I'm sweating right now. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with this last piece of transfer tape. Oop. Just really pressing this down good. And turn this over. And then so we'll just peel away the carrier sheet. And so now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna trim as much of this as I can. I just heard my fiance get home. I didn't even know he left the house, so that's great. Just putting some slits in here. Okay, so now I'm just going to place this as center as I can. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna start in the middle again. And see, this is where the slits come in handy because now I can make sure I get this piece of text down first and then I can do this one up here because if I was trying to do both sometimes it just gets a little I don't know it just gets challenging with like all these curved surfaces and like the letters are curved so it's gets challenging all right so you can just scrape all this down and now we can peel it off. All right, so there you have it. Our super cute and easy wine glass is all finished. Um, so if you like this video or thought it was helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the rest of my videos. I have tons of crafts on here. And as always, happy crafting.